about the massive FAL buff, both in base multiplayer for Modern Warfare and in Warzone. All of my gameplay is going to be in Warzone because I'm a Warzone kind of guy, but it is now an excellent weapon in both modes. It's going to be a little bit light on numbers today and a little bit higher in subjectivity for in-depth, but I think that the idea that I want to drive home is very simple. The FAL received a damage buff. Its headshot damage was increased up to 105 inside its maximum damage range, and the body shot damage went up to 78 inside that same range as well. This max damage range was increased out to about 18 meters, so it will one-shot kill to the head within 18 meters in base multiplayer, and that's without the monolithic suppressor or any of the longer barrels or any of the more complicated attachments on the weapon. Just the base weapon can one-tap people out to 18 meters which is extremely powerful. It makes it more powerful than the SVD or the CR-56 AMAX or really any of the DMRs because it's so much lighter and easier to use. Warzone, unfortunately, will require three headshots to kill, but your first two headshots will break people's armor and put them... They'll be suffering quite significantly. Could take four body shots or five limb shots to down somebody, so at the end of the day, it's not many shots to kill, kind of regardless of where you're hitting, which I find to be very impressive, especially on a weapon that's accurate and doesn't really shoot that slowly despite being semi-automatic. The damage per hit is pretty high, so as a sort of intangible benefit when you're fighting somebody with your team and you team fire somebody, it'll probably feel more like you're downing them almost instantly because instead of taking, say, three headshots to kill, what could happen is your teammate shoots them once, maybe twice, and then you get your double tap headshot and they're done and they're out and it's just that fast. It's kind of crazy. It's kind of impressive. The gameplay you're seeing right now is me having a whole team of people using FAL fire and just just hosing them down into the ground and the time to kill is about twice as fast as that of any other weapon no seriously it's it's about twice as fast most of the weapons in the game cluster around a certain like ideal time to kill zone this one's about half as fast so or half the amount of time for both headshots and for body shots so nothing in this game can keep up right now with time to kill of the FAL both in base multiplayer and in Warzone. It is an extremely fast killing weapon at all ranges too. It'll do this up close and it'll do it for better far away than most other weapons. Here, just check this out. This is a clip from Twitch of my first gunfight with the FAL and that's how I knew that this in-depth was gonna be really good. I'm in a bad position. Holy you, you crap! Can somebody click it? this? Can somebody clip that? I think this is going to be a very good in-depth. I mean, I kind of already knew that anyway, because the FAL has never been a bad weapon for Warzone. Even when it was dealing significantly less damage per shot and couldn't one-tap people, it was in my early list of best weapons because it still had an excellent time to kill, it had an excellent range, and you really could shred people with the weapon. But with the damage increase on it, it's very, very shreddy nuclear murder town right now. I'm actually struggling with my vocabulary to describe how powerful the FAL is. And this buff made it significantly better to the point where I might be pressed to say that it's the best weapon in Warzone. I know the Growl is still the king of almost everything and the CR-56 is popular and the MP5 is popular, but I'm telling you guys, the FAL's time to kill is so scary and so impressive that it should be respected right up there with the Growl. And even after only a couple of days, I have noticed a lot more people using it in Warzone. There hasn't been a guide video from me or Ace or anybody else that I'm aware of but people are still finding the FAL to be a much more attractive weapon choice. Now, I do have to admit that the FAL is a semi-automatic weapon, and it does kick less predictably than a lot of the full-auto weapons, like, say, the Growl. It isn't particularly snappy on handling, and it does take a lot of skill to use, which is why I think a lot of people gravitate away from it. The FAL is always going to be harder to use than just holding down an M4, holding down a Growl or Kilo or something like that. The recoil can be quite high. It can go side to side. It can be a little unpredictable. It's not really wise to kit this weapon to be really fast and really snappy versus accuracy. So there's a lot of reasons that you wouldn't do it. And for whatever reason, gamers do just kind of struggle with semi-auto in general, the clicks or the trigger pulls and lining up your shots. It's just awkward compared to full auto spraying somebody down. But all that being said, you don't have to be that good with the FAL to get easy kills. Like, there are some weapons in Warzone and other games that I would say, well, they're excellent 
if you're excellent. Like, if you're one of the best players in the game, then sure, you can kill and down and it's not that hard. But the reality is that the FAL doesn't require exceptional skill. It requires moderate skill. A couple of games of practice, you could go through it in regular multiplayer and then bust it out in Warzone. You'd probably be accustomed to the recoil, tinker with your class, a couple of games. I think that almost any of you watching this could have your FAL ready to set up and murder people in one to two hours, if not less, or significantly less. I know that Niku, who you frequently see in videos in this channel, has been using it with burst fire quite a lot. Personally, I find burst fire to be hilarious up close because it can one burst people with headshots. It's, it's three round bursts, so one burst will just delete somebody. Just get a load of this clip. That is the face of a man dying in anguish because he did not watch in depth and he had no idea how powerful the FAL can be. He had some colorful things to say in game chat, but that's pretty normal for Call of Duty these days. The Burst Fire mod isn't my favorite. It takes up an attachment slot, and I will admit that I think it's good in close quarters combat. Burst Fire FAL really does shred, but where it lacks is in long range. It gets really miserable on long range because it significantly increases the recoil of your weapon and you can't toggle it on or off. So a lot of weapons you can toggle from like full auto into single fire. And what I thought I could do is put the burst fire on so that I could use the burst and just headshot people when they got too close to me and then toggle to semi-auto for long ranges. But in Modern Warfare, we don't have the toggle switch. So it's burst fire all over the place, which means for long ranges, which is where the FAL is really supposed to do well, what's probably going to happen is you're probably going to shoot and your first shot's gonna hit and then your other two are gonna miss and then it's gonna be awkward and difficult to resettle. And then the person's just gonna beam you with their mounted M4 and you're gonna lose the fight. It can really, really stink like that. I've got a couple of recommended loadouts to recommend here near the end of the episode. This one is the Balanced FAL Loadout. It's a 4X Switch hybrid sight. I kind of like that one. It's got two very clean sights on it. It's got a 4X zoom, which is a little bit uncommon on the hybrids. Marksman Barrel, primarily to reduce recoil, but it helps range a little bit. Monolithic Suppressor is kind of standard. I will use a Tack Laser to shorten my aim down sights time and a Stippled Grip to shorten the ADS time and also the uh, Sprint Out time. The Stippled Grip does tend to make the weapon a little bit wobbly at long ranges, so I put an asterisk right there. If you don't like the Stippled Grip and you want a more stable weapon, you could probably go with a 24 or 30 round magazine on it, or maybe even, or maybe like a Merc 4 grip or something. But I did get the best results with this balanced loadout, swapping back and forth between the uh, regular holographic sight and the 4X zoom for long range. But there's another FAL class that also worked pretty well for me, which was the close range damage shredding machine. I put a red dot of some kind on there. I run the lightweight suppressor. Fast aim down sight stock, stippled grip, and tack laser. And this is more of a close to medium range FAL. You won't have quite the same long range lethality. I guess you could as long as you hit your shots. But in most cases, what's going to happen is that the weapon is going to kick a little bit too much. So you'll have to mount to hit your shots at long range. But what this class is designed to do is allow you to react really, really quickly and snap aim and headshot people and just kind of spam them into the ground. And if you're one of those people that like burst fire, I'd probably trade out stippled grip for the burst fire mod attachment. Stippled is probably the most sacrificable attachment on this entire thing. And in general, I do think that mounting the FAL is a good idea too, because it really becomes a laser like that. A weapon like this, you do get punished when you start missing shots. Your accuracy is very important. Recoil is extremely important to control. Mounting makes your uh, idle sway wobble way more stable, especially if you're running one of the stippled grip classes, and you can spam a lot harder with a lot less consequence. So I mounted the FAL in almost every fight that I got the opportunity to do so, and I think that it is a fantastic weapon to choose to mount. Then you really almost all of them are. There aren't many weapons that aren't worth mounting except maybe the growl or maybe the new growl is worth mounting. Anyway, I found it very, very helpful, would recommend it. I think that this is probably best to pair with an MP5 or MP7 as your backup weapon. You want something that, even, even an AUG with the 5.56 conversion, you want something fully automatic, decent time to kill, big mag to spray people down with. And I gotta say, I dislike pairing the FAL with a sniper. So with the MP5 or MP7, I found it very easy to where if people were getting a little bit uncomfortably close, I could get like a couple of peppering shots in with the FAL. Then I could break out my MP5 and MP7 and finish up everything else and do the rest of the work. But with the FAL and the sniper, sometimes it felt like I was carrying two snipers. and I didn't really have a good spray kind of weapon to get people out of my face with. 
Now, I've been talking about the benefits of the FAL and it's extremely high damage, like close range damage. I could, with the FAL and Sniper, just headshot people up close, but I have to be very frank with you that I do not have the skill to consistently do that. I don't think that many of you do, and even professional, really awesome god tier players tend to prefer easier weapons like the MP5 up close. Interestingly, the FAL does very well with the muzzle brake. If you don't mind being loud, muzzle brake will reduce your horizontal recoil or your inconsistency in aim in this case. Now, in order to put this on, you do need to sacrifice your suppressor, which is a really painful thing to give up in Warzone, but it does make the FAL perform really well if you don't mind being on the radar all the time. Some of you apparently do not. I pick up loadouts from people all the time running weird things, but I generally prefer to be on the radar, though I did enjoy my time with the muzzle brake. So at the end of this episode, what you need to know is that the FAL is now a god weapon for regular multiplayer because it one-shots people within the ranges that most of your gunfights are going to be in regular multiplayer. And it's also a god weapon in Warzone because it has an insanely fast time to kill at pretty much all ranges and there's not a lot that competes with it as long as you're good. It's just not as easy to use as an M4. The M4, the Kilo, the Growl, the AK, they're all spray weapons. They're easy to use, they're not complicated. You hold down the trigger and kind of swipe over the enemy a few times and they'll die. This one's gonna take more precision, it's gonna take a little more practice, but the reward for it is definitely there. And I would highly encourage all of you to check out the FAL. Guys, that is all for this episode. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you learned something useful. If you did, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. Drifter out.